Zahme Vögel träumen von der Freiheit. Wilde Vögel fliegen. The sky is not the limit. The ground is... Hello, my name is Olaf Zipser. I'm a free flyer and I travel the world and I was born in Germany. We refuse to believe that man can fly. <laughs> When I was a child, America and the Soviet Union were racing to the moon and that's all I saw and that's probably the first thing I saw on TV and all my life I wanted to be an astronaut myself. When I started skydiving, uh, it was in 1986. Uh, skydiving was not really developed like we have today. Until the thrill of speed overcomes the fear of death. It took me about four years of experimenting myself in the sky, flying alone to fly in all different ways. And I came up with a new flying style, which later on I called free flying. About 10 years after I started skydiving, um, free flying became a very popular kind of a way of maneuvering in the sky and I found a lot of friends who wanted to fly the same way. Now in the modern days, since 2000, since the year 2000, free flying actually has become an international appreciated aviation sport with nationals and world championships and even the World Games, the Olympic World Games have included free flying in their program. Now, the next step will be free fly astronaut program and we're going high up in the sky and we free fly the black sky. I have used uh, every opportunity to go as high as possible in any kind of plane I could find anywhere in the world, in any skydiving place. And in 1995 I came to Russia to fly with an Illusion 76 to jump from 12,700 meters. I believe that was the highest flight uh, anyone has made as a private uh, astronaut at that time. Um, because uh, of all this beautiful experience, I now have uh, the intention to go and go even higher. Svezda here in Russia is building the nicest spacesuits in the world. They have the most experience in building those spacesuits. And I have talked to a few officials of Svezda at air shows and at their museum and at their production place. I had multiple meetings with them and they let me in their secret rooms and uh, provided me with three spacesuits uh, for me to try out. And that I did. I found one nice spacesuit uh, which I liked but it was a bit too big. So now I made a deal with them. They will build me a spacesuit which is uh, fit to my body and will have some modification uh, from the Orlan suit, that's the EVA suit uh, which they're using at the space station. They will take parts of that suit uh, and include that in the suit which they have already existing. They will be building me in the next half a year, for, say like seven, eight months, uh, a free fly astronaut suit with specialties uh, which no other space suit has in the moment. It will be more maneuverable and it will be very much uh, fitting my body. In the year 2010, I was thinking again about my free fly astronaut possibilities. And as I learned that there were changes in the laws of uh, America in, in a way that now private companies are allowed to build spaceships and even rockets, all this sparked my imagination. And I thought like, wow, let's go to America and check out the rocket companies. I was fortunate enough to have help to go and check out three companies. And I made a deal with one company. The name is Interorbital System. Interorbital System, located in California, America, uh, has provided me with five rockets, uh, which can go maximum up to 310 kilometers. On my first rocket, I will only go to 40 kilometers. It will start from the ground, I will sit on the very top, and I will endure probably up to three Gs uh, for three and a half to four minutes to reach 40 kilometers. Ground control will then switch off the rocket, so the engine is off. 
the rocket will continue going up and up on the very top of the apex I will be basically in, in, in zero G. That's the moment where I climb out of the rocket and will jump from the rocket. 30 seconds after I enter the airspace uh, I will reach supersonic speed which at that altitude will be approximately 1100 km per hour. 50 seconds after I jump from the rocket I will reach maximum speed. Maximum speed will be 1,400, 1,500 kilometers per hour. 70 seconds after exiting the rocket, I will reach the maximum drag, meaning the biggest slowdown, because I will come closer to the ground, and closer to the ground, the air is much thicker. So from that point on, I will come back from supersonic into subsonic, and after I'm in the subsonic speeds, below 1100 kilometers, I will uh, have a feeling of a normal skydiver. And at about two to three thousand meters above the ground, I will activate my parachute system and I will land like I'm used to for the last 20,000 times on the ground underneath my parachute. The goal of the Freefly Astronaut Program is to develop a spacesuit which is capable to bring a human being back from space towards Earth in case there is an emergency. We envision that in the future space travelers, scientists, doctors, tourists will go to space, space hotels, ISS or even uh, just for, for fun fly with a spaceship to see the Earth. As more spaceships there will be in the future, as more possibilities there are, that there will be something going wrong. And uh, the idea is to create a space suit and uh, including the free flight techniques which we have developed and make that person have a second chance. He will be able to just jump into the space suit in case there is an emergency using free flight techniques to come back to Earth, hopefully having fun on the top of that and uh, land safely on Earth. That would be a good thing. I'm very happy about to see that since two weeks since I have had my uh, Free Fly Astronaut Project uh, website up, that uh, so many people are interested and have passion for to go to space. In, in the last two weeks we had like 34,000 hits. To me that's quite amazing and uh, it shows the interest and it shows the passion and shows the desire of all human beings and no matter what age to go and reach the stars. My name is Olaf Zipser. Free fly the black sky. See you soon on the moon. Free fly. Endless new. Mankind has developed into a flying species. Balloons, airplanes, spaceships and now the pure body itself. Cruising the atmosphere, the last frontier before space. Now open to fly in for everyone. Free fly. Endless new. <laughs>